talking with no fucking mic. That's funny. Alright. Let's start over. What do you mean no mic? Alright. That's way too fucking funny. <laughs> Thanks for telling me. Nobody even noticed. Well, at least you didn't get to hear the phone ring, so that was good. Alright, let's start all over with vape mail again. Alright, vape mail. Got the juggernaut in, my replacement juggernaut. Shorter center post on it now. <laughs> Brass contacts inside. Have not had a chance to set it up. That is way too funny, man. I knew I was going to forget to unclick that, too. So, then we got the immortalizer from Chief Papers Pat. See, you didn't hear me butcher that the first time I said it, either. And that's a dripping rebuildable. It's kind of got an adjustable airflow on it and everything. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Save Vape never does that, either. Sting Vape's pretty good. I, I kind of like it. I've had some dripping rebuildables, but I don't know. There's always been this or that I didn't like about them. So far, I like that one quite a bit. Um, let's see. That's really the extent. Oh, wait. I do have some cool vape, some else, too. I have, uh, from one of our wonderful vendors, I was sent a couple of AGATs. And we're going to have another special guest in a few weeks. And I'm not going to tell you who it is right now. But I'm going to take one of these and I'm going to build it and send it to this person so that they can use it. And then I'm going to make them come on the show and I'm going to show them how to rebuild the AGAT2. Or T+. Plus. And I got Bruce to donate those. Yeah, thank you Bruce at Clouds of Vapor. Cloudsofvapor.com don't forget to visit and patronize Bruce. His show is right on is on right after mine, so you can always hang around and watch his show too. Um man, that's it. Signed a few more lists, I think, you know, cuz I can never have enough stuff coming in the mail. But my good my good vape mail, really good vape mail came last week when I got the uh, got on my new Bliss stuff and my mini B and my uh, steam turbine, which I talked about all this stuff on the show last week. I didn't bring back bring up that uh, I had sent Dave my uh, version one bliss, and he actually sent me back a version two bliss. So that's pretty sweet. I have some dual coils set up on that one, just for Dave, because uh, I know how much he likes those dual coils, and I I tend to put U-wicks on everything. But I got some uh, five wraps of ribbon wire. Is that even focusing at all? Hmm. Closer or backwards more? It's always the guess. So anyway, you can take my word for it. There's five wraps of ribbon wire on either side. I really have no idea what the resistance on it is. I would guess that I am probably at one ohm or less on either side. So I am sure it is a ridiculously low resistance on here. And I may just blow my face off. So. Cross your fingers for that, and we shall see. Yeah, that's pretty good. If you guys don't have one of the blisses, you ought to get a hold of one of those. I don't use a lot of dual coils, I do a lot of single coil, because frankly I get plenty of vape from doing a single coil <coughs> yeah that should have put hair on your chest all right so I don't want to take up too much of the show with me showing off my toys and my vape mail because I don't want anybody to feel bad if they didn't get any vape mail this week I did mail out that uh, Cupcake City that I said I was going to mail. I did put that back in the mail. So. But we have, tonight, as our guest, we have Doc Dave. And Doc Dave made these atomizers that I was showing you. And we're going to bring him on. And probably chit-chat about those a little bit. It's almost kind of more of a let's get to know Doc 
format, but we'll find out plenty about his vaping and everything else. So we are going to do a, uh, we have an intro song. I have an intro song I'll picked out for Dave because, you know, I figure that somebody like Dave should have at least as long of an intro as myself for the show. And mine for the show runs just under four minutes. So Dave's intro is going to be a little over four minutes. So to to honor the man like I think he should be honored, you're just going to have to bear with it and, and enjoy yourself here. So with no further ado, you're going to get to see now for the first time live on Vape TV, Mr. Doc Dave. Yeah, it's a Superman theme song. Dave and I are having a beer, too. I'm going to have a poll on that faceless. I'm running a poll tomorrow. <laughs> Sorry, ladies, he's married. Do you like your song, Dave? Oh, I can't really hear nothing. Did change my up. I can't have really. About two more minutes. Oh, is that it? <laughs> you fucking Nick buzzed by then. Here, I'll bust out another one. Old school faceless. I got uh, I got some orphan tears in this one. They can they can hear you. No, they can't. Yeah, they can. Mm -hmm. Freddy's nuts are always tingling. <laughs> There's a boy named Stacy in the house. I heard he's going to make a uh, 
review on that mini B right after the show. I heard he was skipping the show to make the review on the mini B. Oh shit! Don't know what happened there. How are you doing tonight, Doc? I'm doing good. Good. This thing dry hit. Put that off the side for the night. What is that? An I hybrid doing that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's my fault for coiling it though. <laughs> Yeah, I thought, I, think it, I thought all you modders just bought stuff and traded for stuff and sat it on a shelf and looked at it. I do. I just bought a $850 GG today. Is that all? Is it gold, pla yeah, is it gold plated? No, no, it's titanium. Oh, that fancy ass titanium one. Yeah, I saw pictures of that. So what you tell us, Doc? Uh, when did you start vaping? How did, the, how did your whole vaping thing get started? Oh shit! Two years ago, um, started uh, uh, with a Rio. Or no, take that back. It was a Riva. <laughs> so a Riva, uh, yeah, that's actually one of the one of my first devices too. The Riva. It, uh, yeah, it's a decent little device, I guess, for a starter. Um, well, yeah, shit, I remember because was they were the ones that were not regulated. Yeah, it was. You know, I, I did a little research on it and moved from there. It was either that or the ego. I didn't know anything about mods and didn't really want to know anything, I guess. You know, I always told myself, ah, oh, I don't need a mod, and this thing works great. So what did you end up getting for your first mod? Oh, I bought a uh, Ferrari and uh, Darwin for my first mod. Nice. Are you going to pick one over the other? Prover or, Dar or Darwin? Which one? I still have the Prabari. <laughs> okay. So, that's it, a very that's a fair enough answer to that question. Yeah, uh, Darwin didn't last long. It, uh, you know, I mean, it, it was an alright device, but you know, it just well, it didn't suit me. Are you a kick guy? Do you put kicks in things too? What's a kick? A kick? Yeah. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> There's a, I have there's, one. A, there's a new one called the crown too and I think it beeps at you yeah it talks to you yeah that's what I want all my cigarettes to talk to me yeah I don't I, I'm sorry I don't want 10 or 12 watts I want 50 or 60 that's hardcore man not really no it, not with a Genesis not with a Genesis I mean, hell you not. you probably run 30 um I wonder what I am running on this on this uh bliss with the dual coil because I shit I doubt if I'm at an ohm I'm probably more like 0.8 or 0.9 something like that that baby is smoking uh, most of mine are dual coils with the exception of like the fine and stuff it's 1.7 ohms or something but yeah 14 500 I don't want to push it too hard right so how many devices do you have take a guess uh, Within two, probably around, probably around fifty or so. Fifty? That's not yeah. too bad. No, well, that's what I have. Like, not on order, but that's what I have. That's just what you have. With another ten on order. Yeah, we'll say that. Do you do you keep them all, or do you are you swapping them out and trading for stuff? I I used to trade or sell off a bunch, but I pretty much just keep everything to myself now. Um, I just, there's really no need in selling them. I mean, there's enough people out there selling them that I don't need to. So out of all those mods, what's your coolest one? Not necessarily the best vaping one, but what do you think's the coolest one? I don't know, man. Uh, I know. They all... <laughs> I know you hate those questions. Uh, you know, that's like picking your favorite kid. Oh, man, I have a hard time. People ask me about atomizers. It's like, man, there's so many of them that are good now. It's... It's, That's it, an easy answer, it though. It depends on whether you like this or this. Man, my favorite one right now is has moved up to that steam turbine. That is just an amazing, amazing looking. And just that small change in the top cap, the way that it operates and everything. And it looks really good on that Chi U, too. It, it looks good on everything. Here, you know, on the popular, on the uh, titanium uh, Atom. You know, that's, that's the one I run probably 90% of the time is in my hand. 
I like it. I like it a lot. It has that... You did a dual stacked air hole deal on there. What's that all about? Well, the Bliss has got kind of a tight draw. Uh, I wanted to open it up a little bit for people that like the airier draw without killing the flavor. And I found that if you put four small holes in it versus two bigger holes, that you know you, you get a little bit lighter draw and you still get ex exceptional flavor. So that's how the turbine was born. Yeah, that's sort of what I see, the way that it acts, too. Because what size are those holes? Are they .8? Uh, just, just shy of a millimeter. Just shy of a millimeter. So it's pretty weird that there are four one-millimeter holes in there, but it actually has a tighter draw than a 1.5-millimeter hole. Yeah, I just, it's got a... Really, it's about perfect, in my opinion. I mean, I still like the Bliss, but... You know, I don't have a Bliss even. Well, I take that back. I've got a V3 set up right now. Um, oh, V3? I didn't know there yeah, was going to be a V3, Doc. Well, nobody did. <laughs> I didn't until just recently you know, when I changed it around. and uh, I figured everybody could use a little more juice. Right. So how big is the V3? What's that going to hold? Cause the old Three one, mils. That's, okay, that's a whole mil more. Yeah, it's it's got the same tank as a turbine in it. It just uh, oh, and I'm 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 doing away with three of the window slots. I'm only putting three slots in it. Ah, so that's not going to be one of only two in the world anymore, then, huh? Uh, well, there's only two V2s with three slots. Two V2s. Bishop's got the other one. So you can start putting serial numbers on all your mods now and all your atomizers. Yeah, everybody gets a uh, serial number now. Everybody gets number one. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I, I mean, that way everybody can have the first one. So I guess even trying to get out of you, what is your most interesting or coolest device? Trying to pick out which your favorite one. Do you have a favorite one? What's in your hand a lot that... Even though it may not be your favorite if you had to go pick at them, but it's the one you sure use a lot. Chi Yu. The Chi Yu. Uh, the Chi Yu and the Titanium Atom. Uh, I prefer the Chi Yu, but I like the weight of the Atom. You know, I just, I like the Chi Yu, though. It's a great mod. Mojo did a good job on it. Yeah, it is a nice mod. I whined about them there for a while when I was having trouble getting them, but now that I've got them, I'm glad I do. Yeah, I think I got three more on the way. I only have three more on the way. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> yeah. All right, man. Tell us something about yourself that the people here tonight and out in YouTube land later would be surprised to know about you. Shit, there's really nothing to surprise anybody. Come I on, guess. I gave you these questions yesterday. Do you think I read them? It's like <laughs> studying for a test. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, you know, I shit. I don't really know. To be honest with you. Uh, All right. Well, how, I'm I'm a pretty open book. So, how did you get into designing these atomizers? I mean, do you have like computer knowledge to do the programs, or do you have a friend that you're were able to go to, or how did you do it? A little bit of both. Um, I was millwright for years and uh, you know I got into it and I started building those uh, plastic VVs and stuff and got into modding and got into rebuildables and there was always something about everybody's rebuildable that I didn't like and uh, figured I could build a better one and uh, started putting one together with all the features that I liked and the bliss was born and you know, it's kind of gone from there. I've learned a lot uh, from the Bliss, and uh, I've got a lot, lot going on. A lot of more projects this year. It's just uh, slow getting them out. So, are the the steam turbine and the Mini B are they available right now? And where would people go to get those? Uh, Mini B is not available really. I mean, you're, it's it's available on a list right now on like APV, Vapor Wall, Core Vape. Um, it'll be. Available. I know 100% sure at Vape Revolution. The steam turbine was available at Vape Revolution yesterday. They're sold out. Blisses are sold out. Um, 
you know, it's hard to keep anything in stock. Um, right. Do you have any? Which, li- you have any lists going for the steam tournament? Because you have, I have lists. Because you have. I have lists. Go ahead. I have. I have lists for the mini B, the steam turbine, and three different finishes. Um, then I've got uh, Bliss V3 and titanium and polish version. It's all at the vapor wall um, and core vape. Yeah, I know you have a lot of different options available with each one as far as the finish. And then with the steam turbine, you have stainless steel and titanium. And I think I've got six, maybe seven list open right now for diff- maybe more. I don't know. And I then, got a bunch of stuff. And then you throw that mini B in there, and you've kind of got a nice cross section of all the different prices from being pretty, uh, you know, reasonable entry level for a modders uh, Genesis device, all the way up to the premium titanium deal. Yeah, if you want it, um, I like the titanium. It's lightweight. That's, you know, the three that I kept out of this last run. That's I kept titaniums. I didn't keep any of the stainless. I'll have some stainless eventually, but. I yeah, wanted to get them out. I like, I like the color of the titanium. It's kind of a little bit darker gray than what the stainless turns out to be. Well, it's uh, it's different than even the Bliss titanium. I changed from a grade two to grade five, which is it's a it's a harder titanium. It's more of an alloy versus the grade two was more pure titanium, and uh, it's it's got a harder finish, a little bit shinier. I, I prefer it over the grade two. The machining is really good on it. What what all is involved with machining one of these? It, it it's a lot of lathe work. And then it moves on to a, a fourth axis mill. Uh, in the future, everything's going to be done. And I guess in April, everything's going to be done on a uh, live axis lathe, uh, dual spindle. It'll basically the new lathe will pretty much run everything start to finish, and all the parts should be identical and interchangeable in the future. So you're having you have like a local shop that does this stuff for you, right? Yeah, yeah. I've got a, a buddy of mine that has a local shop that we do a lot of it. You know, we do a lot of the prototypes, and you know, I help with all the programming and everything. But once it comes time to run it, we put it on machines and just let it go. And how's production going? You mentioned something the other day about they were getting another machine so they could kind of step it up a little bit. Well, we got we've got that new lathe coming in, and we've got a, uh, a new fourth Texas mill coming in just to run my product, um, just to be able to get more. You know, I, I've got a lot of projects I want to get kicked off, and yeah, they're asking in the chat about a hybrid. You got a hybrid in the works? I have several hybrids in the works, so it, it's like I said, it, it's it's costly and time consuming the way I do it, so. Yeah, just be patient. They are coming. They are a coming. Did you hear that, you stink? <laughs> the uh, turbine was originally, uh, in, in my head, was going to be a hybrid, but it was going to be real expensive on the, the way it was going to have to run off of two different machines. So when the new machine gets in, I've already got the body designed and we're going to put them together. So you're going to make like a hybrid base for it or? Uh, no, in the future it's just going to be a oh, hybrid. Oh, it's just going to be a hybrid. Nice. All right. You know, cool. I, I'm, sure I, I'm sure I can make the base 510 to uh, accommodate everybody. It's got a turp and two, but it is uh, it is going to be a uh, hybrid option. So you're considering making it a 510 mod as well as being natively hybrid? Um, possibly, yeah. Interchangeable caps. Right, right, exactly. All right, so let's go back to your vaping life again. What about uh, vaping has impressed you so far? What impresses you? Everything about it. You know, uh, well, I mean, shit, two years ago it wasn't, you know, I mean, you had to build your own mods or know somebody, and, I mean, uh, anymore, I mean, you can just go anywhere and get these things. I mean, that's impressive, really, to me. Uh, the, The quality that you know some of these monitors are putting out you know I mean I've got several facelesses designs here you know uh, he actually just sent me this one and uh, you know I mean this which, the work which one? Put, what are you holding up oh I don't know what it's sweet medicine sweet I think what it medicine. is medicine and uh, God, you, you, must, know, you must be special man why if people kill for one of those oh well sitting on my shelf 
No, I mean just the just the work that people put into these. I mean every, every one of them. I mean Mojo and I mean uh, Kato. I mean there's just so many. Heck, look, you know, at, I, look at ducks. Look at the juggernaut, man. That thing is just. Yeah, it's. I got number 105 and 106. Not that it's important. I know you got number 102 because you wanted it so bad. Right. And Stacy got 101 and 111. Oh, bi- did he? Because he's binary. Huh. That's really number. Yeah. That's really number five and seven in secret code. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What is that in Chinese characters? I'm not for sure. I, I don't speak Chinese. Oh. I probably should. I probably should learn though, because. You'll be working for one of those Chinese companies in six months, and you'll be making your atomizers in China. You think? I don't know. You never know. Yeah. If they want somebody it, that knows what they're doing and can pay the money. Yeah. They're all right over there. They can keep making their clones and copying everything. So it's all good. You know, they got to eat too. Yes, they do. And they don't make nearly as much money as us. I know. You think they'd put a little more time into quality? You'd think. Try and you know get a, get a raise every once in a while or something. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's it's all good. Like I said. Um, so what do you everybody. what do you find disappointing about vaping, man? The amount of money it hits my wallet for. Yeah, but don't you have money flowing back into that wallet? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, not really. Oh. You know. I thought modders all got rich because they all charged so much for their shit. atomizers that they were all just living in these castles with swimming pools and butlers and maids quarters Ferraris and out back. shit like yeah. that. Yeah. Because, you yeah, know, you're no. getting rich off these things, you know. That's why, I mean, hell, they're $200 a piece. Yeah. I mean, God, you know. even if you made $100 off of them, you'd have to sell two every day just to even make the minimum uh, amount of, the average amount of what a United States citizen makes every year. Yeah. Well, and you're not making $100 a piece off of them, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> you know, faceless got it right there. It takes three years to pay off machines. <laughs> Hope people are still vaping then. Yikes. Yeah. I don't know. It's uh, I think people will be. It's, I, I've really seen the industry grow, and I mean, even in the last six months, it's taken off. Oh yeah, it's not stopping. That's for sure. So, you know, it just, you know, people don't realize how much is involved in building these things. I mean, prototypes, machines. I mean, tooling up. I mean, tools aren't cheap. It's, uh, you know, it it adds up that. You know, it's 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 rewarding. You know, I get to see my product out in everybody's hands. You know, some people like it, some people don't. And you know, to each, you know, everybody likes their own device, and that's what's important. So you like being a modder? You like doing this? Yeah, I do. You know, I it's it's stressful at times. Um, you know, answering you know endless questions, but it's. Uh, good time it's nice being popular though isn't it no it sucks it it's it's much worse when people go your addy sucks get out of here i feel for them guys i've seen it happen yeah so it happens i'm sure so it's you know it, like, like i said you can't just I mean, there, there's a lot of, mo- lo- I'm not going to name names or point fingers, but there's a lot of atomizers that should have never even made it to the market. So, uh, you know, oh, you, you got to test these things. You're going to open up a can of whoop ass on somebody, huh? You sure you, no, don't, you, sure you, you, sure you don't want to name names? Come on. Mm-mm. Come on. Who, whose atomizer sucks, Dave? Oh. Oh, don't say yeah. it. Don't say it. I'm just kidding. Okay. But, okay. <laughs> All right, Dave. So, you get marooned on a tropical desert island, and floating up onto the shore is a crate. It says vaping supplies on the side of it. What do you hope is inside that crate?
A Chi Yu, a turban, and plenty of standard vape. What's a standard vape? What do you vape? There's a good question. What do you vape, Dave? What kind of juice? Man, I've, I've become fond of the standard. The standard. That's uh, the Jameson stuff? Uh, well, it's... Uh, no, the, I think it's standard and Jameson is different, but it's the same people making the The same juice. people making it. Okay. What's a bottle yeah. of that look like? You got a bottle sitting there? I don't know if it's focusing because I really can't tell that. Who makes that stuff? The standard. Yeah, like what? What are the name of the guys? I'm letting you. Oh, I'm letting you throw you a mean, plug in here, so you, mean, you know. You mean, you mean plug them? Plug them. What uh, the hell? It's Lonnie and Eric. Lonnie and Eric. And I know that at least Lonnie's in here. I don't know if Eric's probably sleeping. Yeah, I know Lonnie's already called me a transsexual or something. Yeah, well, takes one to know one, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I promised him blow up sheep tonight to get him here. Oh shoot, he is here early. <laughs> he wanted to take two seats. So I forgot. I, so that's the only juicy vape is just standard. No, I I uh, pink spot. Um, oh, pink uh, spot. And, uh, yeah, there's a few pink spot flavors <laughs> I like. Uh, I, lo I love to hate pink spot. Yeah, it's all right. You know, I've, I've got three flavors that I prefer. Um, that's okay. If you like Allison it, that, that's Plant. all that matters. Oh, Allison Vape Plant too. Another one I love to eat. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, some of their juice isn't great, great, but... Did you hear about my 23-day yeah. shipping time? Did you... I, I actually ordered, like, 23 days isn't shit. I ordered when I was in Detroit in January, early January, and I just got it earlier this week yeah I ordered on January 30th or something like that and I got it the 23rd or 24th something like that yeah oh man man that shipping time kills me yeah I don't understand it but teach her own like I said it's, it's decent juice but uh, I, I can't wait a month for juice so, hey, Doc, are you a politically active guy? Do you get yourself involved with advocacy efforts? I make donations to CASA. Okay. That's so, we, uh, we had, like, what our St. Louis, what do you think? Our St. Louis group is, uh, you know, we do 50 50 raffles all the time, and, uh, you know, all the benefits go to uh, CASA, so, you know. Yeah, we do I mean, that with Hoosier Vapors. We d donate our money to CASA every month, too. Yeah, I've seen that uh, Kokomo had raised a bunch. Yep. Yeah, we've, they've been really good about doing that. Vendors have uh, they've been sending us, you know, old product, used product, whatever. And then we just hold a raffle. And pretty much everybody throws in, you know, 10, 20 bucks on the raffle. Get 50 people to show up, and there you go. Yeah, it... It works out. You know, we've got a couple of uh, members that are really super active in CASA, and, uh, you know, I mean, so it's you, a good thing. So do you think that CASA and these other organizations are doing a, a good job to help keep these things around for us without having huge taxes? And, and do you think we're going well, in the right direction? Well... I mean, I'm I'm not really so worried about the political government stuff. I mean, we've pretty much gone underground already. So yeah, do um, you do any DIY? Very little. You know, it's it's easier for me to buy juice. Yeah, I'd rather buy juice too. Because you know, at it least when a lot I, better. At least when I buy it, I know that it's supposed to taste like something. Yes. Yes. And then I can, no, and actually, then I can just be actually, critical if it doesn't. I actually tried to mix some up earlier today, and uh, it didn't work out so hot. No? What were you trying to make? Oh, a pineapple. Oh. Too much pineapple? Not enough? I like pineapple uh, vapes. Yeah, it's just, I think, uh, I bought all my flavorings quite a while ago. I think they just went bad. Uh. So that or I've developed a taste for good juice. Yeah, maybe that's it. <laughs> I remember I used to vape anything, and it was fine. Now it's like, uh. So, you know, I'll get 50 samples and find one juice that I like. 
Yeah, I do that too. If I can buy three or four juices from a company and there's one in there that I like, usually I'm pretty happy. Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, Freddie's talking about the Blue Marsh cookie. That's just pretty good. So. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's one of my juices. Um, so. I see. It's like, yeah. it's like an inside thing that's going on between you and Freddie. Yeah, I, I send him my warm, salty juices. <laughs> so, what what advice do you have for a new vapor coming on the scene, Doc? What would you tell him to get? Provari. Right out of the gate. Right out of the gate, I recommend Provaris. Yeah. Um, it's something that can grow with you. If you buy the wrong atomizers or cardamizers, you can adjust to it. Um, you know, uh, I, I actually I got a lot of people started on uh, egos and VV Novas. Yeah. You know. Uh, yeah, for somebody new that wants to go cheap, I push those ego uh, twists and spinner twists and those kind of things, and a CE five tanks or VV Novas or something like that. It's something easy. Yeah. You know? you know. I mean, I've gotten a lot of people into rebuildables, but you know, it's. I don't. I don't really know. I mean, I don't really. Cons I. I kind of hate the term APV. I mean, is it really anything that advanced? No, we're kind of going backwards with these mechanical mods, really. You know. It's, uh, I mean, we're going. What the thing is is that we're advancing in the mechanical mods. That's probably a better way to put it, because the original mechanical mods were okay. You know, the GGs. That's a nice one that's been around for a long time. Yeah, I. I actually just got. Three GGs of like a week ago. Finally, I finally got a good price on them. So, but there hasn't been know. a wide variety of mechanical mods for people to choose from. Really? No. Not really. Now that now it's really growing. You know, there's a lot of stuff coming out of the Philippines uh, now. Um, yeah, those guys are know. on it, aren't they? Yeah, they're they're cranking them out. Um, you know, uh, I'd say as far as quality, probably Ed's. To be honest with you. Yeah. You know, yeah, I mean, you've it, seen a V3 set then, haven't you? What's that? You have a V3 yet? Uh, we all should have sitting in California about today. Oh, yeah. So, have no, we, I don't have Have we had to pay for those yet? Am I not paying attention? No, we haven't oh, paid for okay. them yet. All right, that's good. I hate not paying attention. So, no, I, I got that on the... Uh, immortalizer and stuff you know I'm so used to somebody saying hey man it's time to pay you know I don't watch them list I put my name on them and that's about the last of it <laughs> so you know, so, if it, if it, so are you seeing a time when uh, your devices and the accessories and all these things are going to become a more prominent industry you know like you and faceless you know here in the United States you seem to be growing fairly quickly yeah uh, yeah, but I mean, it's, you know, I, I think everything is going to grow. You know, like I said, even over the last six months, I've seen, you know, everything just explode. You know, used to, you know, hell, a year ago, most people didn't know where to get mods, didn't know anything about vapor wall. Now it's, you know, common that, you know, we got vapor wall, we've got, um, you know, the APV group. I mean, yeah, the APV there's so many. has been really good. Yeah, you know, Freddie does a real good job with that. Um, so, I mean, we get a lot of good group buys, and, you know, it's growing. Uh, it's Actually, lately, I'm kind of disappointed. We haven't been picking up a lot of new stuff. Um, we need some new modders. Yeah, we need some new lists, don't we? Yeah, we need some good stuff. Yeah. We need some more lists, because I don't, I don't have enough stuff. I need more mods. I definitely don't. I'm a little bit atomizer heavy right now. I need some more mods to put all my atomizers on. Actually, I'm a little mod heavy. I need some atomizers. Yeah. Somebody needs to build some good ones. Maybe we should talk later. Yeah. You got? Yeah. Wait. I got. You gonna give me some atomizers? Dude, I got three atomizers in the mail the other day from somebody, and that took up all my mods. Oh, I'm sorry about that. You want that CCPV back? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you love that mod. I know you do. That button's the biggest piece of shit out there. You asked me for it twice before I let you have it. 
Well, I thought it was a good mod. Well, it's not a bad mod. You just don't like it. Yeah. Freddy likes his. Well, I know. So what do you see, what, what do you see as being the next innovation to come up to come around? What's going to be next? Shit! Unless somebody figures out a new wick, I don't see a whole lot of change in really good atomizers. And it's really hard to beat stainless. Yeah, well, we're not supposed to be vaping on stainless anymore because it'll kill you. What do you think of that? Oh yeah. What do you think of I'm that? Chicken, chicken Little, the sky ain't falling. No, you don't think we're creating. I don't think we. Could. I don't think we even come close to 1800 degrees with these wicks. Right. You know, and you know, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not worried about it. I'm more. I'm more concerned about people using Nextel. About using Nextel? Oh, I kind of agree with you on that. You know, Nextel is chemically treated, and uh, I mean, you, you're supposed to torch it off. I mean, really? I mean. Well, really, you know, we don't. Even, we it. don't even know what it's made of. It's made by the gut for the government and isn't even allowed to be exported from the United States. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it can't be good for you. You know, even silica. You know, once you heat it up and dry it out, you know, you get fibers coming off. And I mean, hey, Shane, that's a, that's our point. Shane, is that somebody's gonna pick on anything? You know, there's some things that are probably better to be left alone. And that the can the uh, Nextel I'd say is the number one thing as far as the wire that we use the Canthal and the Nichrome, that stuff's been u being used forever, and it's just generally accepted that it's okay, just like the mesh is. The silica probably to a little bit of a lesser degree just because of the fibers they can break off of it, but I, that's probably pretty safe too. You know, there's people that are using cotton and hemp and God knows whatever else they can find to stick inside of an atomizer. And if it works well, and it's not burning and, you know, it's cleaner than what we've got, I don't have a problem with people doing it. But it's it's a little more than I'd really want to mess around with. It's it's still better than the alternative of a cancer stick. Right. You know, anything's got to be better than a cigarette. Because even if it's going to give us cancer, it won't give it to us as fast as uh, smoking cigarettes probably will. Well, like I said, I, I'm not really so worried about stainless. I mean... You know, you gotta you gotta get that shit hot to start releasing. You know, well, I mean, you know, I was looking at I looked it up on the internet, and you know, the internet always tells the truth. But I was looking at the uh, table of the elements and melting points and things like that for the ingredients that are in stainless steel 316 mesh and the molybdenum and the chromium and and everything that's in there. You would literally have to be actually melting that piece of stainless steel mesh before you'd be releasing really anything off of those particular you know, we used things to have, because they don't, we used their to have, melting point is higher than what that of the mesh itself is. Yeah, we, we'd have to, uh, I mean, I used to do a lot of welding, you know, we had to worry about chromium, but it, it's a vapor from the pulling metal. It, it's, you know, I mean, you had, literally have to liquefy the metal to release a chromium, so... I'm not so worried about it, you know. Like I said, we're not even close to that them temperatures, even dry burning. Yeah, that's sort of what I think too. But what do you think we're gonna have as our next innovation? Are you gonna build us a a device that uses a ceramic wick where the the uh, atomizer is set up in a different way than what they are now to accommodate something like that? We haven't given up on ceramic yet. Well, I think we've given up on the ones that are made out of the air stones for fish aquariums, but I don't think that the ceramic, you know, if it's real ceramic, porous ceramic, that that's necessarily something to give up on quite yet. Well, I don't think it's necessarily something. It's a matter of finding the right material. You know, we need to find something that actually absorbs at a high rate. And uh, like I said, there's, there's always going to be something, you know, I mean, everybody's always looking for the next big thing, and unfortunately, the fish aquarium crap was crap. Yeah. Crap, total crap. Yeah, you, know, just, you could buy a whole lot of mesh for what you pay for a stone. Yeah, I did get a really nice diamond grinding wheel out of the deal, though. But I have two leftover fish stones, and I don't have an aquarium or any fish. So. Well, well, what are you going to do with that diamond stone now? I don't know. Why? Oh. You want it or something? No, sir. I have no use for it. <laughs> it's not a stone. It's a diamond cutting wheel. Oh, whatever. It's pretty sweet, yeah. man. It's like 20 bucks. Carve your name in the sidewalk. 
Right, yeah. Or in the side of my Look, house. I, I live in a brick house. I can go outside and carve my name in it. I'd do it to the neighbor's house. They'd appreciate that. I'd break into my neighbor's house because their house isn't brick. I'd be cutting right through the through the building. Engrave my mods. <laughs> yeah. I think I'll try I think I'll try that with my diamond cutting wheel. <laughs> That's a good one. So does anybody here have questions? Come on, somebody's got a question for Doc. Oh, Sergeant Taz went and got his amp tank. I bet he's all psyched up for that. Woohoo! Did you get your amp tank tonight, Doc? No, I, I'm... Yeah, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't. Uh, I don't want to step backwards, you know? I'd be like me going back to cardamizers. Yeah, you know, I, I said the other I, day the same thing. Man, I gotta be honest with you, I had I used to be a huge HH three fifty seven fan. And uh I got a bunch of new ones and I actually got this GG's in collector tanks and everything and I put one in and threw a battery in it and thought to myself, What the hell? What are you doing? You're Doc Dave. I just couldn't get any vapor. Yeah, the amp tanks look kinda neat looking for an atomizer tank, but they're kind of a year late on putting out an atomizer tank for me to be interested in it. You know, if I, it, a year ago I would have been all over one of those because you, there, there were no rebuildables really other than you know having a I showed it a bully. Or I showed it. I showed everybody how to make an HH through fifty seven tank a year ago. Oh, did you? I, yeah. I didn't see that video. Yeah, it, it wasn't a video. It was a uh, walkthrough. But oh, it, so it's all written. You expect no, me to read? No, pictures. Pictures. Oh, pictures. I'll show you how to put it together with pictures. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, Blacksmith's Pro's got it right there. You know, it's been around a long time with GG's. I mean, it's it's not that difficult. The only thing you need is a couple of grommets, a piece of, you know, a tank, and yeah. five short shorty 510 connection and an atomizer. You put it together and fill it up, and it works. The UFS, that was a, that's a touchy little sucker, man. Get, yeah. Get, getting the right I, combination of everything with that. And then the thing is, is if you decide you're not going to vape it for a couple hours, when you come back to it, you'll need to adjust it all again. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it's a little finicky for me. I had one. I actually bought one for my one-year anniversary and uh, was going to buy a GG. I never could get my hands on one for less than $500. So I give up on it, sold it, and now I've got three GGTS is sitting in there and you know it's of course uh I do have a uh, new toy new hat for the GG on the way so uh, that'll be hey Bruce interesting. Bruce was here yeah I've seen Bruce was here oh is he, he just got a new, he's probably yelling he just at got me a, for saying that I that the UFS was hard for me to get going right I'm sorry yeah Bruce. he just I, man, I like the way GG stuff looks, man, but there's co that UFS is, that thing's a pain in my butt, man. I had two of them, and I tried using them for a while, and I don't know. He uh, he just got his turbine running today. Oh, did he? He got his, yeah. get his glass in? Yeah. Do you wick that up, Bruce? You, you wick that turbine? You better say yes. Or at least dual coiled it. He's not answering, Dave. Oh, okay, you wicked it. Alright, you're off the hook this time. Oh, Bruce is coming on here in a minute. Yeah. We're almost Jerry done. Thomas is here too. We're almost done. Yeah, that was a quick hour. Really? You think hey. so? Yeah. Hey what? We just talked. We really didn't talk about anything. No, we didn't. <laughs> Same kind of crap we talked about if we were on the phone. Pretty but, much. Much enough. That's, it, that's pretty much the conversations we have. Pretty much. Hope everybody learned something. I don't know what there was to learn, but I hope you learned something, because otherwise it was a complete waste of an hour. No, oh, well. I didn't have anything else to do tonight anyway. Me neither. 
you know what? I've really had to go to the bathroom for about the last 20 minutes, uh, so I'm looking forward to this one being over. One end it. That beer ran right through me, man. You made me drink one. I'm not even. Hey. I'm not even done with the whole beer, and I got to pee. We got a question. Really? Answer it. You sure. I don't know what it is. Something I about your. Said. Something about your right nipple. Oh no! You've been staring at faceless right nipple. That guy. I thought you guys were friends, like bros. Oh, you text and shit. No, I don't talk to face that much. Oh. So. Uh, Shit, we're bit, we're too busy to talk to each other. <laughs> you guys, yeah, everybody wants something new. Get to work. What do you guys yeah. even What are you guys even doing here? Shouldn't your machines be running right now? They are. They they, they run to us six days a week, twenty four hours a day. So, All right. Well, whenever they, Bruce gets ready, I'll let him have it. Because if I don't take a leak pretty quick, I'm going to be in trouble. Let me know when he's ready, BSP. Say goodbye, Dave. I'm going to take you off the screen. All right. We'll see you, everybody. Thanks for coming, everybody. We're going to go back over here. We'll go back to me for a second. Damn it, BSP, your chat window's not popping up. He's good. All right, we're out of here. I'll catch you guys next week.